We're in Chicago, baby! Yeah! Tell me! Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy, Jamel15. And I'm Max Whittle, and this is the Basis Covered Virtual Road Trip Episode 4. And Jimmy Bond is on the show! Let's go! It's time for the Bases Cover Dream Team to go to another US city and embrace their epic baseball culture. Yes, so give us a like, hit subscribe, and get ready for our fourth stop, the Windy City. We're in Chicago, baby! Chicago is known as the heart of America's Midwest, but when it comes to baseball, it's split in half by a river. Yes, today we'll be joined by Jimmy Bullard as we look at the amazing party atmosphere of the team in the North, the Chicago Cubs. Yes, but before we do, here's the lowdown on the Southsiders, AKA Chicago White Sox, who have some star power of their own. And where else to start than the greatest basketball player of all time, Michael Jordan. He played an exhibition game for the White Sox against the Cubs. Now he may not be Michael Jordan, but Luis Robert, one of MLB's top prospects this season, has been killing it. Multi-hit games, outrageous speed, and powerful home runs. And with stars like that, it's no surprise that there are celebrities in the stands, including legends such as Barack Obama and Chance the Rapper. So, as you can see, the White Sox have some very big names, but their rivals, the Chicago Cubs, have arguably the biggest game day experience in baseball, Wrigleyville. Wrigleyville is the neighborhood surrounding the stadium. It's kind of like the Las Vegas Strip of sports. Yes, so for our celebrity fam, we wanted to recruit someone who is a professional athlete, but also a professional at having a good old time. That's why we're excited to announce that this celebrity fan is a former Premier League star and probably the funniest man in football. It's Jimmy Butler! Jimmy Bullard, the man himself, welcome to our Bases Covered virtual road trip. So happy to have you with us. How's it going? Yeah, all good, thank you. All good. Thanks for having us on, guys. So, Jimmy, we're here to recruit you to become a Chicago Cubs fan. What's your knowledge of baseball like? I watch it, but I don't understand it fully. <laughs> you will learn on this show, Jimmy. OK, well, that's what I'm here for, guys. Talk to me. So, Jimmy, the reason we think you'd be a great Chicago Cubs fan is Wrigleyville, the area around their stadium, Wrigley Field. It is famous for being the biggest and best party atmosphere in baseball. Imagine Wembley surrounded by bars, clubs and pubs. That is essentially what Wrigleyville is, and we thought it would be a perfect match for a man who loves sport and a good time. And, oh, you also own a pub. Sound like your cup of tea? Absolutely, in my ballpark. <laughs> Now the bullpen, Jimmy, is where pitchers warm up before coming on later on in the game. It's also a place where a lot of jokes are shared. With that in mind, who are the funniest teammates that you have in your very own Jimmy's bullpen? Believe it or not, Paolo Di Canio. Paolo was one of the funniest guys I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. He'd shave his legs every day. He'd <laughs> shave him in the dressing room? Yeah, he'd shave in front of us. Not only his <laughs> legs, if you know what I mean, every part of his body. <laughs> Yeah. What about the fans that gave you the most stick, Jimmy? Lead was like serious amount of stick. I always remember this. I used to take corners and free kicks. And there was this ginger head fella in the corner and he was giving me stick all game, like ruining me. Every five minutes I was going over there taking free kick, ruining me. And then right at the end, he, he was lining up by the coach. I always remember his face and he asked me for my autograph. Oh, oh. I was like, how can you ruin me for 90 minutes and ask me autograph? So I signed it and threw it on the floor. <laughs> So Jimmy, as a pub owner, we thought there's only one way to initiate you as a Chicago Cubs fan, and that's with a traditional pub quiz. Question number one. There are two teams in Chicago, the Cubs and the White Sox. What is the word socks short for? A, stockings, B, socks, or C, slippers? I know this, socks. That is incorrect, Jimmy. That's incorrect. The correct what? answer. The correct answer is A. It's stockings. Yeah. Jimmy, regroup, regroup. Question two. What is the name of the Chicago Cubs mascot? A. Cubby Bear. B. Grizzo the Grizzly. Or C. Clark. Gotta be Cubby Bear, innit? Is that your final answer? Yeah. Oh, I don't like going like this. <laughs> um, yeah. Gotta be. Jimmy. Ain't gonna be Clark. <laughs> correct answer is C. Clark. No way! <laughs> Who the hell was named that? Oh my God! Oh. 
The Cubs were cursed for 71 years because of which animal? A, an ostrich, B, a goat, or C, squirrel? Squirrel's the odd one out there. Oh, I've got to go squirrel. <laughs> Jimmy's locked in with a C squirrel, and the correct answer is B, goat. Are you joking me? Jimmy, a, a Cubs fan brought a goat into the stadium in 1945, and he was kicked out because of the smell. They didn't go on to win a championship, make the World Series for 71 years, hence the curse of the Billy Goat. He's got some oh, Trump bringing some goat in, isn't he? <laughs> what a legend. I want to meet that dude. Right, from goats to pizza, question four, Jimmy. Big G's, which is a pizza restaurant in Wrigleyville, famous for its crazy pizza toppings. But which of these toppings do they not put on their pizzas? A, chocolate syrup, B, fried chicken and waffles, or C, fried fish? Fried fish. He's done it! Come on. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> yes. So here we go, question five. You're now one out of four. Let's yeah. see if you can get two now, here we go. Which one of these pubs is not in Wrigleyville? A, Toons Bar and Grill, B, Sluggers, or C, Jimmy's Barbecue and Bingo? You just slung my name in there for a swerve <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having Jimmy's, <laughs> whatever you said. Jimmy's, Jimmy's and Grill. Barbecue what? and Bingo, yeah. So you're going with C, yeah? Jimmy's barbecue and bingo. Yeah, I'm going with okay. that ain't there. That is the correct answer, Jimmy. You've got it correct. Yes. <laughs> cool, Jay. You dropped the swerve boy, didn't you? There you go. Five questions asked, two correct, three wrong. You know what? That's 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 terrible, but it's it, it will bad. do. That ain't <laughs> terrible, it ain't bad. <laughs> Now, Jimmy, we knew you'd be a perfect fit for Wrigleyville, but before we go, we want to make sure you're up to speed with the Cubs' current star player this year. Yes, there's too many to call out, so we thought we'd show you the player that Cubs fans are most excited about. His name is Javier Baez, nicknamed El Mago. Let's take a look at the magician. I don't need recognition. I'm on a mission. Ah, oh, he what looks like he's got a bit. Classy, very good, very, very good. Okay, Jimmy Bullard, AKA El Mago the second, you are now officially a Chicago Cubs fan for the 2020 season. How does it feel? Yes, I'm in, woo! We loved having you on and we thought to say goodbye, let's imagine we're in Jim's, Jimmy's barbecue and bingo. Let's have a little sing song, Jimmy, please start us off. Come on in. Jim Bullard, Bullard. 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 He's better than Gerard. Gerard. He's, He's skinnier than Frank Lampard. Jim Bullard. Come on, Jim Bullard. The timing. There you go. There you go. Max, what a guy. I love him. I love him. So many stories. Jim Bullard, Bullard. But now I need to check if Jimmy's barbecue and bingo is actually real. Yes. I think we learned everything we need to to become a true Cubs fan, but it's now time to review Last Week in Baseball with Max in the Quick Pitch. It's time for Quick Pitch, and don't the Atlanta Braves know it? Dance me with a walk-off homer in the night! The Yankees have dominated the Red Sox this season. Seven games, seven wins. Fetch the brooms, the Sox have been swept. That one is drilled to right field. There it goes, see ya! And the Yankees now lead six to two. One, two, three, four. The Chicago White Sox love to score. Got a little home run. But how about four in a row? Next one. In the air, left field. Gone again. Four in a row. Baseball is a game of millimeters. Another crazy finish in Philly as Roman Quinn slides his way home for the winning run. He got his hand in. The Phillies win. Julio Tehran, great pitcher. Shame about the juggling. It's the plays right there, and Tehran will commit an error. He never even got a throw to first. And let's end with a question. Is Alba Almora Jr. human? You decide. Being called out as Almora lays out, and he caught it. Wow. Max, you smashed it. That's it for Chicago this week. Next week will be another stop with another celebrity fan. 
yes, so make sure you hit like and subscribe so you do not miss out. Before we go though, the bases covered all-stars are training hard ahead of the big game. Here's how they got on this week. What the what? What the what? What the what? Don't you know? Welcome to pitching, everybody. We're gonna do a few basic mechanics. There's the wind up and the stretch, but I like to keep it simple, so I do the stretch, and it goes like this. Hands and gloves together. Step Don't you and throw. Can you do it in slow mode? Release the hands. Step with the foot. Arm up. Glove up. Throw. Wow. You actually do that in slow mode. All right. So your challenge today is to throw the ball as hard as you can. You get three, three times to throw it. The fastest pitch wins. Sideman, you're up first. Let's go. Ah! Oh. I mean, Just a bit high. A little bit high. Okay. Oh, okay. Last one. That's at least 65. 44. That was less. Did he? Oh, not bad. He broke through. It'll be fine. Oh my god, are you okay? This is the second time I've hit him. You're strong. Woo! I'm actually hurt. 35. Myself. Ow. That was a little high. 38. Woo! Oh, okay, oh, Katie, oh, oh, she lost. She lost. Shut down! Woo! 46. Oh, 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 wow, he's got a new lead. Oh, 43 miles. Oh. And the winner of the challenge. Katie with 46 miles an hour, so Woo! great job. Best player in the Best world. Best thrower. We're looking for a new coach. <laughs> <laughs>